Hello students, this is Dr. Amal Venke from Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. So today's agenda is uh, electronic engine control. These are the broader objectives of our course, automotive basics, EV mechanism. Then these are the objectives of today's lecture to understand the concepts of automotive electronics and its evolution and trends to understand the concepts of automotive electronic systems and subsystems illustrate the use of electronics control system in automotive power powertrain of ic engine and electric vehicles so this is the outline of today's lecture uh, electronic engine control, fuel economy, role of electronics in automotive, electronic engine control system. So, the performance of engine is directly affected by the mixture of air and fuel. So, as we know that uh, air and fuel uh, enters into the cylinder, uh, more correctly air fuel mixture is enters into the cylinder and then the power is generated. But the proportion of air and fuel uh, must be correct then and then only the proper power is generated uh, in the cylinder. Okay. So, it is an uh, assembly of electronic and electromechanical components that continuously vary the fuel and spark setting in order to satisfy the emission regulations and fuel economy. So, if you observe the block diagram, uh, whatever sensors are there, sensors are connected to the ECU that is electronic control unit, then ECU generates the output, that output is uh, given to the actuators and actuators comes into the picture and uh, generated output is given to the input of the engine and engine generates the power and while generating the power it also generates the exhaust emission okay so this is the uh, simple technique of controlling the engine Uh, here is the detailed block diagram of uh, engine functions and control. The upper block is uh, engine control, then input to this engine control is from engine status sensors. So, sensors they are giving their output to the engine control unit. Okay. Then uh, at the input there will be a throttle plate and from this entry the air is entering uh, into the cylinder then there is a mf sensor uh, mass air flow sensor is there okay so that senses the uh, mass of uh, air flow and then it is given to the uh, engine control sensing the air flow and it is given to the given as an output to the engine control then accordingly engine control will take the action then uh, next the fuel enters into the cylinder and uh, fuel information is also coupled to the engine control then after entering the air and fuel into the cylinder then uh, when piston moves at a uh, TDC point that is top dead center point, then the spark is generated. Okay. So, when piston moves at the TDC point at that instant only the spark is generated into the cylinder and then after generating the spark, a, whatever mixture is there, air fuel mixture. Uh, that mixture will be burned out and 
high amount of pressure of the gases is generated inside the cylinder and piston piston is moving in downward direction that is power is generated okay so once the power is generated then whatever uh, exhaust gases are there uh, those gases are uh, removed outside the cylinder so here the power is generated and at the same time uh, burn gases are taken out okay so this is the in detail operation of uh, engine function and control then the ecu receives signal from sensors uh, that measure the state of engine so different uh, sensors are used to monitor the status of the engine so those sensors are total position sensor uh, this sensor uh, senses the position of throttle plate, then mass air flow measures the mass of air flow, then engine temperature, this measures temperature of the engine, then engine speed, exhaust gas recirculation, exhaust gas oxygen. So these are the sensors used for measuring these parameters. Then what we are getting as an output from the ECU. So, fuel metering control, uh, uh, how much amount of fuel is there uh, that is indicated on the fuel, then ignition information we are getting that is ignition timing. So, ECU uh, at a particular instant only the spark is initiated in the cylinder. Okay that information is getting from the ECU, then exhaust gas recirculation control. So once the air fuel mixture is burnt inside the cylinder, then whatever burnt gases are there inside the cylinder, those we have to taken out. Okay, So that is the duty of the ECU. Then in reflection spot, there will be one question. Uh, after studying the electronics uh, engine control in automotive vehicles, uh, just pause the video and give the areas where electronics is used in automotive. So, which are the domains uh, in which uh, electronics is used for controlling the parameters? So, the answer is uh, throttle position sensor, mass air flow rate, uh, engine temperature, engine speed, exhaust gas recirculation and exhaust gas oxygen and so on. So here only uh, main sensors are used. Uh, there are some other areas also there uh, where we can use the sensors. Okay. So this is the answer. Uh, then at last there will be a summary. Uh, to summarize, uh, quantities that can be uh, changed uh, under electronics control, the examples are mass air flow, uh, fuel flow rate, then spark timing, intake manifold pressure, then power. So nowadays the percentage of electronics used in cars is almost 50 to 60 percent uh, electronics is used in automotive domain uh, also the amount of sensors uh, is high uh, minimum there are 20 sensors uh, in the basic model of the car and as the model increases at higher end then number of sensors goes on increasing. So this is the end of lesson number 7. Uh, you are going to learn uh, effect of air fuel ratio on performance, then spark timing, then effect of EGR in lesson number 8. Thank you very much.